What's going on, people? So give me a moment. Just got to make sure this thing actually pops up over here on the old YouTube and whatnot. And go through this whole same thing like every month, even with the little Instagram ones. All right, there we go. Looks like we're good. So, all right, as I usually do, I like to treat my lives like I treat my videos and just kind of jump right into it. Because if somebody, again, if somebody watches this after the fact, they can just go right to the content of the day, right? So I will say, first off, though, before I get into like the shoes and the thoughts and whatnot, I had put out a little request or whatever for comments, not comments, like topics or questions for me or whatever, because that's what I did last time. It worked out all right. It was a nice little split, you know. I didn't get any responses this time, which is fine. And so then I was like, well, it would actually worked out pretty well because I have some other stuff to bring up anyways, but I'll do that between the weeks, right? So, you know, there's five weeks in August, more or less. So I got like five stacks of shoes here, right? So the reason I'm doing this now, normally I would finish the month or excuse me, finish the week with whatever, but tomorrow being September, that's boost month for me. Cause that's like when I first started buying boost shoes, kind of treated the same way as I do Air Max month, right? Though Air Max month is actually on a calendar. You can't see it, but trust me, it's there. So got a new balance box right about here, right? Let's go ahead and see what's going on in this thing. Oh yeah, forgot. These came with this little bag so you can store your shoes in them if you're into storing your shoes in bags or whatever. But this right here, what is this, a 991, I believe? Yeah, 991, the Harris Tweed, Houndstooth. I'm not sure which one the HT stands for, honestly, but it works for either because it is Harris Tweed and it is a Houndstooth design. But either way, this was one of those made in England pairs that I picked up a while ago. You know, so it's all hand stitched by a bunch of people in Scotland or something as far as this piece some crazy leather going on. If you saw the review, you saw a bunch of close-ups and whatnot. So very nice, very nice. It was pricey. It really was. If you know about these particular things, you know that these can set you back a pretty penny or several. But I don't buy a lot of them, so it kind of makes it a little like easier to swallow. You know what I'm saying? But I did recently see a bunch of other ones. Well, not a bunch, but like two or three other new balances that I like that are also of the Made in England variety. So we'll see what things are looking like. There is a Yeezy release coming up this weekend. So if money goes towards that, then that's money that's not going to some new balances. But if that raffle doesn't go my way, then maybe I'll have some new new balances, right? We'll see. But I do like them, though. One thing that I'm not a huge fan of is I like this colorway, but the NMD itself, just as far as boost shoes go, this is just like the bottom of the barrel to me, right? Now, I haven't worn all the Boost shoes, but up until like the last year or two, I think I had, right? Because there were only so many, but then they just exploded onto every corner of the world, right? As far as different models and stuff. But something about this one, it just doesn't feel as comfortable. Like the upper is okay, right? But not great. Midsole here, I mean, it's got the Boost thing going on, right? The lack of an insole, I'm also not a huge fan of that, right? which is why they feel so roomy. Maybe you've worn a pair of these and you know what I'm talking about. Brian Mendoza, Damien Bell, what's going on, people? I said that already. Hello. Try to not use the same greeting twice in a row. It starts to feel redundant and weird. So, yeah, I picked these up, though, because, like, I really like this whole solar red thing they have going on. But, man, like, I, and I said the same thing about every other NMD that I picked up because I've only done, like, a handful of reviews, but... They're not terrible. I don't want to sit here and act like your feet are just going to hate being in them. But by comparison, especially like looking at, say, like the Aniki Runners and or the 5923s, what else is over there? Obviously, like the different Ultra Boosts and stuff like that. The Terexes, I mean, I get those are made for something else. But still, just so many things are just overall better. But they come in a million colors, and the price point is super low. So I can totally see why people are buying them. Let's see. Random impromptu live. What month are these from? I mean, the the month that's ending today, actually. It's not a random impromptu live. I just am bad at scheduling things because I don't really care to forecast stuff out unless other people are around. So I put the thing up for eight. Obviously, I'm not doing it at eight because wrestling comes on at eight. I just put it up there so I can get right to it when it is time. You know what I'm saying? But I do this so far every month. The one for this coming for September will probably be the last day of the month, I guess, because, you know, I'll be doing all my boost shoes, at least the ones that I wore for the month and talking about things. Hopefully get a special guest or two. 
this right here is the vapor max plus right so you know you got the whole vapor max down here the plus thing up here right <clears throat> i remember seeing these like and i was like man that's a pretty cool shoe right because i already liked this i had a normal air max plus of the sunset colorway but when i saw this one come around i was like well this one right here this is something that i have to get for sure right and i was a little more open to buying things at the time you know because i didn't have as many now i'm kind of selective but I think even still today, as it is right now, with the numbers being whatever the numbers are, this one will still make the cut because it just looks awesome to me, right? It's not for everybody. Not everybody's into the whole favor max thing. I will say it does look a little weird if you catch it from the wrong angle, right? But the comfort is there, in my opinion, and the upper feels pretty nice too. It takes a little getting used to if you haven't worn a pair in a while because it can feel a little bit weird. But I guess you could kind of say the same about a lot of stuff. Some things... Whenever you go back to them, it's like they're fresh and ready to go. Some, they just need that break-in period. And those, it's like, I remember running in Ultra Boot or Vapor Maxes, and I would, I found that if I do my workout part, like the fitness, like the weights and stuff first, and then do the running, it's not so bad. So you warm them a little bit and they're broken in again. But if I just pulled them out of the box and went to get right into business, it didn't work out so well, you know? But yes, BX, you are special because you're here. And Doc, on, or maybe it's DLC, I'm not quite sure. Hello to you. So this is the Cream 700B2, right? Uh, I don't know. I've, these aren't, they're not terrible, I don't think. They're just so, they just feel so big. Look bulky too, you know what I'm saying? I mean, material-wise, everything is really cool there. I like the little bits of 3M and stuff. So overall, it's not bad. But it's definitely not a model that I'll be getting a lot of. I don't know that I'll get another V2 period because I've seen a decent number of colors and most of them not great, you know, honestly. But to each their own. I know some people are super big into like the 700 V2 or the 500 or whatever. Everything has its person, right? Its little fan base. Even I have a fan base, right? Which is crazy to me still. We'll get into that in a minute. But the 700 V2, I don't know. I do need to get another 700 V3, though. If you saw the review I did of that one, you know it didn't quite work out how I wanted it to on account of the way the sizing is. I mean, the dimensions of the shoe feel fine. It's just the toe piece of that. And then, like, the little small hole that they have to put your foot in, you know. Uh, so I'm going to try a 10. I'm always hesitant to go up in size because... You know, like sometimes shoes start to look big. Those look big at a nine and a half. Like at a 10, it's obviously going to look bigger, right? This right here is an Ultra Boost 1.0 in some sort of solar red type of colorway, similar to that NMD I just showed a moment ago. This was one that I wanted back in 2019 when it came out, but the stores all wanted $180 for it. And I was like, I don't want to give you $180 for it, though. So we agreed to disagree, and I just didn't get a pair until 2020 or 2021. One of those. Got this pair and that lime kind of colored pair. So personal opinion, it was worth the wait because I did get these for, I don't know, like 100 and, we'll say 110 to 120, I think, is what it came out to. And I do really like the colorway. I like the whole Ultra Boost thing, right? I said that already. So this worked out pretty well, you know? Sometimes, sometimes the whole patience thing just works out, right? It really does. I always tell people that, you know? I get sometimes you, you see stuff and you want it, like, right now. And maybe even it's in your best interest to get it right now because it, like, might move pretty quickly. <clears throat> but on something like that, the general release side of things, it'll probably be there later. And if it's not, well, just buy a color that you do like. So, anyways. Stack one is done. So here's the thing, right? I got some stuff laid out here that I was going to talk about or whatever. It's all loosely related. Kind of talk about some things. Then it'll all come together towards the end or something. So this whole YouTube situation, right? Like, I don't know who, how many people really, like, pay attention to me or if you've been around for a while. But me starting this, it was, what, 2019, the beginning of 2019, right? And honestly, like, if you were to ask me, like, why I did it, why I started doing like shoe reviews or whatever. Really, the honest answer is that I didn't think things through, honestly. Like it just is a thing that I 
realized was a possibility. And so I went with it because I ran into, I will give you a shorter version. I ran into Skip Goes Hard at the mall one day, right? And I, I didn't know him at the time. I just saw him as some random dude talking about, or that was in the same store buying shoes and stuff. And so I was talking to him because we were both kind of telling the same story about how we expected to win something and we didn't, blah, blah, blah. And then I saw him recording and I asked him some questions about what he was doing or whatever. And he's like, oh, yeah, I got this channel, blah, blah, blah. So at the time, I only really knew like Seth Fowler and the guy with the brother, uh, the tall, beard, Fomer Simpson, right? You know, oh, it's Teddy. You know, I, I didn't follow a whole lot of people, but they all seemed like they had like a team of dudes like helping them out. So I saw him doing it all by himself. I'm like, eh, okay. And then later on, I ended up with like a bunch of free time, right? And I was buying shoes regularly. And I was like, you know what? Maybe this will be something to do with my time. So I decided to pick up a decent camera. Well, better than my phone anyway. And I started recording stuff. And that was kind of what it was. Like, had I thought more about it, I probably would have initially just decided, oh, I should talk about music or talk about wrestling because those are my actual primary interests. Maybe even getting back into like the whole tech thing. I used to follow that like to a point that was almost obsessive and probably a little weird, but it does pay the bills. So it's good to keep up with things, right? But either way, I didn't do that, right? Which is in a way good because if I had, and like this kind of took a weird turn, I might leave a bad taste in my mouth about certain things. But still to this day, like those are still my main things. The reason I'm doing this live now is so I can get it knocked out before wrestling comes on, right? So wrestling and music are still number one. Shoes are like number I guess like four, something like that. But it, I'm doing it. It seems to be working out all right. People show up, they listen to me ramble, and then I move on to talk about real stuff. So that's that piece of it as far as like why I do the YouTube thing. Poor planning. This right here, got a box of 450, right? Let's go ahead and open this thing up, right? Now, the 450, oh man, this thing is, this is not for everybody. Like, People were, like my boss lady at work was like, so uh, what's, what's going on with that? It looks like an alien thing trying to grab your foot. And I was like, yeah, it does. I personally think of Venom, which is technically an alien, the symbiote. But yeah, so this right here, right? I, You know how you buy stuff because you want to see what it's like for yourself and you kind of feel like you know how you're going to feel, but you do it anyway and you set yourself back a bunch of dollars because it comes from end and you have to pay some overseas shipping? That's kind of what happens here, right? And it's, I feel like if they were more colorful, maybe it'd be better, but I don't know, man. Like, I can't, I just can't see who's really talking these up. Like, dude, you don't have a pair of 450s? You got to get the 450s. My favorite, easy. I highly doubt anybody's talking about these like that. Sometimes I truly feel that everybody that's talking up a certain thing is just trying to get other people to make the mistake they made. Now, obviously, I did buy two of these, so I can only complain so much, right? But like I said, I just wanted to see what I was going to think for myself. And I know now, like, you got to go up a, at least a half a size, depending on your foot, for it to, like, feel decent, right? I mean, true to size is fine for me, but the half size is extra, a little better. But it still looks dumb, though, right? I mean, I don't think we can argue that. But... Again, it's got its fans, right? So if you're one of them, don't let me sit here and, you know, ruin your day. Like, I'm just a dude with an opinion, as you are. Or maybe you're a woman. I don't know. Whatever. But I just look at these and I just think, surely, surely this was a joke. And the joke's on me. A pair of Prestos, I assume? Yeah. Oh, yeah, these. I did break these out last month or this month. What is this called? The rainbow color or something? Or sunrise? I think it was sunrise. I think I'm leaning towards sunrise. Yeah, these I really liked. I actually got these a little bit early because I bought them from, I want to say it was Foot Shop, I think. So, you know, one of those England retailers or whatever. And I waited and waited and waited because I just didn't care to get the review out there. I figured I'll do it when I do it. And then it just so happened to be that the, the morning I finished it and put it online was the same morning that they released. So I got a nice bump in views right out of the gate. So that was pretty all right, you know? It's always good to get that head start if you if you can in the YouTube world, right? Don't get me wrong, real quick side tangent. Like, 
the initial number of views kind of doesn't really matter a whole lot. It's just nice to see, right? Really, it's like the longevity of the actual video itself, because a lot of them, right, speaking for myself, and I've made a lot of them, they go out there, they sit, people kind of see them later, you know, and then, like, they start to gain traction over time. Like, my Adidas Fusio 4D video mostly went ignored until, like, maybe, like, four months ago. And that video's got to be at least, like, a year old, right? Yeah, easily. So it happens. What's, going, what's in here? What's in here? This is the CX-8000 in the aqua colorway. Pretty cool. Hey, Amy, what's going on, miss? Hopefully things are going well in your neck of the woods. This right here, while not like an amazing shoe by a lot of people's standards, right? It was one that I really wanted to have. Like, And I bought this the day they went on sale, right? And when I say that, I mean like the day they released, not when they actually dropped in price. They did drop in price, believe you me. But I wanted them, and I've paid the hundred and maybe thirty dollars. That sounds about right for a shoe like this. And I gotta say, super pleased with the purchase. Right? They're really comfortable. They're kind of lightweight. The one thing I don't like is these laces are kind of cheap and they get really frayed easily for some odd reason. But I like the aqua colorway. I'm not wearing the slides because I'm trying to break in these. Uh, what do you call these? These Adelette 22s, so I can you know get this review done and say what I actually think about them. So normally I'd be wearing my Aqua slides though, which is the same thing. But yeah, so this one really cool, and it was like my introduction into like the ZX line. So when I got these, you know, I was like, wow, I'm getting some more of these. And then that's when all the Simpsons ones came along and like the overkills. Remember how they did a lot of those ZXs last year? Yeah, I was all over it. Missing some comments here. Shoes, those presto. Yeah, man, those prestos are pretty nice. I guess a lot of people knew that they would sit around and go on sale because they did hit some pretty decent discounts. But, you know, sometimes you want stuff when you want it, you know? Let's see. And then the Adidas. Yeah, that's a nice one, too. I wanted those as well, the Lego ones. I do remember I didn't get the Lego ones because, like, and it's not because I didn't want them necessarily, but again the selectiveness it kicks in like once you reach a certain amount of shoe boxes everywhere but i did like the lego ultra boost from a visual standpoint but like on the inside they've got like that raised lego sort of style on the insole and that not a huge fan of it let's see i have them too not in that color all right it seems to be a popular thing this right here i thought would be more popular but i guess i was wrong on that because I figured, like, black and orange, you know, it's got the safari print, right? I figured this was a thing that a lot of people would be buying and talking about, you know, because it just seemed cool. And it's an Air Max 90. Everybody likes the Air Max 90. I mean, I don't put it as high as others do, but it's still fine. You know, it's just Air Max-wise, I just prefer others, visually speaking. Comfort is pretty pretty straightforward across a lot of them. But, yeah, I picked these up from Well Gosh, I think, if I remember right. So every now and then, I remember, like, where I bought stuff. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I saw these and I was like, yeah, this is going to be pretty all right. But they have, for some reason I thought they had other laces, but that must be something else. But yeah, I picked these up and I thought that whenever they hit the States, people would be like buying them and all that. No, they, they weren't. Some people did, I assume, because they're not selling them anymore. But they really just kind of hung around like a lot, you know? It was weird in a way to me. But I don't, I'm not a fashion guy. I don't know what people are going to be into. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes there's a thing that just pops up and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then like everybody loves it. And I'm just like, oh, didn't know that was going to be the, the new hotness of the month. Like those Sunflower Gel Light 3s, those came out in men's sizes and they were just gone from the ASIC site. They're still, they, they lingered around in other sites for a while, but not, not there. Not the actual ASICs webpage. Let's see, lace of the dome. Yeah, yeah, man. I like them. I like the Air Max 90s, as do I. When it comes to Air Max, you have good taste. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's like there's a lot of them, like a lot of good looking Air Maxes, you know. And a lot of people like to gravitate towards like the, the ones that you know have all the name value and whatnot. Nah, not me. These other ones, they're easier to get without 
all the hassle and they're generally cheaper, you know, and you can think about it before you buy it. You don't have to just like pull the trigger instantly because they're selling out. That's what I like. I also like this, the Air Max Dawn, right? It's super plain, honestly, but it just works, right? I was a little on the fence just based on the look at first. I was like, is that, how's that going to feel? But I put it on. I was like, this is, this is pretty all right. It doesn't seem to have caught on though. Like for whatever reason, people are all about the pre-day, right? I've been seeing a lot of those floating around on people's feats. But the, uh, the Dawn, I don't know. I guess, I guess it's just not something people are into. Though to be fair, I haven't seen a lot of colorways either. I don't know what the deal is, but Sometimes Nike put something out and they just go all in on the colorways like right up front. Other times they put something out and then there's like two colorways. You look like three months later, there's like maybe a third one, maybe. And that's kind of where these are. And the one color that I saw that I liked, it had this weird foil wrapper type thing on the top of the tongue and it's just like killed the whole thing. Because it was in a color that matched up with some Air Max 2 lights that I wanted but never bought. If you ever saw my those indigo air max 97s like the actual review that i did of those you saw that when i got the box home there was one pair or one shoe was the indigo 97 the other one was an air max 2 light so then i had to go all the way back to the store and deal with that it was like a six hour thing all together because it took like probably two hours to get to the store and then you know you deal with all this other stuff then you come back yeah i was like halfway into the review all right so did I miss anything? All right, cool. So like I was saying before, getting back to the whole talking part of this, my thoughts on stuff, right? So, you know, I was doing the YouTube thing and things were actually going very well. Like that first year was like kind of crazy because I thought to myself, who's trying to, who's going to be trying to watch me, right? Like who am I in this, in this space? Like I'm nobody. I'm just some dude that's sitting here on a couch rambling about things and nothing has changed. But for whatever reason, people were buying into it and i was like hmm okay that's that's cool right the number like people were finding the channel somehow i mean obviously i know how they did it because i can see all the analytics people were hitting the old subscribe button and that was something because i'm not one like if you watch every video that i've done i've never asked for that right because i feel like it's a little pushy right if you want to do it they'll do it i don't care about the liking and the subscribing if, if you want to do it you'll do it right without me asking and but so people kept showing up the numbers kept going in the in the right direction you know except for when i left certain comments and i see a little drop i get it but anyway so that was going on right and then even on the instagram side that side of things people were also kind of showing up over there because back in the olden days i used to actually make posts on there if you've seen my instagram lately it's been mostly just like live streams and such but yeah, so I was looking at that and just seeing all this and like through that first year, you know, I was able to hit my, I hit my 4,000 hours of watch time. You need that if you want to get monetized in the first, within 12 months, you need 4,000 watch hours. So I got that in like, I think by November or something. And then the only thing after that, that I was really waiting on was the subscriber count because, you know, again, I didn't push it. So I just put the stuff out there and hope people find it and like it. And I got that like, I think December. So then I started getting paid and all that good stuff. And even still, like people still show up even when I take these little hiatuses for like a month or whatever, and don't do anything. People are still popping in and watching this stuff and all that crap. So it's been pretty good. You know, the Instagram one, you know, I, I slowed down doing stuff over there. So that has slowed down like significantly, which I'm actually okay with, but I got to say, like, the growth of this channel has been very surprising. I'm thankful for it, right? It honestly doesn't mean a whole lot to me to be to be completely transparent here because I'm not in it for the numbers. I just, like, as long as every review that I put out there or every unboxing gets to somebody's eyes and ears and gives them some amount of value, cool, fantastic, that one's a success. I get bonus points if the watch time on each video passes the time it takes to produce it which is a fair amount but yeah so the the growth has been pretty crazy and i still don't quite get it because i've seen i don't watch my own reviews because that sounds weird to me but i see them when i'm editing them and i'm just like what is this <laughs> you know like I, I look at it it's like there's a bunch of pictures a little one-liner here and there you get the little on feet thing at the end i'm like 
would I watch this? Like, it's informative, I guess, kind of. I, sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but whatever. It works for the people. So, let's see. Catching up on the comments. I just hope your day has been just as beautiful as you are. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, you know, Rico Suave. Next week after that was Jordan 12s for some odd reason. These weren't in the original lineup, but I ended up going to a show. Sometimes I set out what shoes I want to wear for the week. These, I ended up going to a show and it was raining. So this is like the nylon neoprene 12s from 2017, I think. But yeah, I picked these up, you know, because I was like, I'm going to wear these in case it gets all rainy. And then it didn't. What is it? 2016. Okay, 2016, or at least when they were made. They may have, may have come out in 17, but I was wearing these to the show and I'm standing around for a few hours and then my feet were not happy about this. Not even, not in the slightest. Like this is not a good concert shoe. Concert shoes was a question on a recent sneaker battle. The things people went with, terrible choices, right? I go to a lot of shows, trust me. I mean, obviously I don't wear a lot of dunks, but I don't do it for a reason. And same with the, I think the other guy pulled out a Jordan 1, also bad. But this, oh God, I mean, it's got the air thing in it, so you would think it'd give you some some cushioning there, and it probably did. But overall, just I when I buy concert shoes, man, like I just stick with like the boost type things and stuff like that, you know, stuff that I can just light weight and whatnot. I stand around it all day, maybe I'll like react thing. That terrible idea. But it is what it is. Let's see. I came upon your channel from the Air Max Plus Bumble. That Air Max Plus Bumblebee video, man, that was, that was, I think, my first video that did very well. Because, like, every, I'd say, like, maybe, like, twice a year, I'll, I'll get lucky and there will be a video that, like, matters and everybody watches, you know, like, like a lot of people, by my standards, of course. And that was one for that first year. It was, like, one of my most viewed ones for, like, a long, long while, you know? And I'm... And there was an error when I, like, ordered the shoes the first time, one of them. So then, like, when I got them both in, I just did, like, the double review. And I think that actually is what helped that because people saw both pairs. And, oh, wow, let's see what all this is, right? But, yeah, those, that one will always have, like, a special place in the old heart over here because, you know, it's one of the early ones that I was like, oh, wow, people are, like, watching this crap. Let's see. That was close. Yeah, these right here, it's kind of hard to tell unless you know exactly what you're talking about because this is technically dark Concord. It looks purple, right? I'd call it purple, honestly. I call these my Undertaker 12s, you know, because they look like Undertaker colors. But I pulled these out one day because they've been sitting on the side, like by the door for like forever. And I was like, if these are out. I'm wearing these this week too. So I wore these when I went out to do some errands and stuff. It's super simple, and I just kind of forget how much I just happen to like them though, which is crazy, you know what I'm saying? But when you have X number of 12s or whatever, not all of them come to mind first, right? When you think of your 12 collection, I have some that like just spring to mind, but then that one, not so much, even though I really like it. On the other end of that spectrum was this. I don't know. I'll... The lights aren't really shining on here. Let's see if I can get this flash on or something. Maybe then they'll show up for you. Where's that thing? See that? Yeah, now you now you got it, right? Kind of has like all that stuff going on because it's the because it has something to do with China. I honestly don't know what the deal was with that, like why they chose to celebrate China in this way. But they did and it's I mean, it's a cool effect, right? It, it is. It's just the execution because on here, I, I just don't, I just don't think it works very well. Somebody said it looks like kind of feminine. I said it looks kind of childish, right? I mean, grade school stuff, you know, if you want to just like kind of lump it all together. But I mean, from, like just looking at it like this, you know, just has like a normal white and black 12. That, not bad, you know, it's got some nice little silver stuff going on on the back and the inside and all that. But just, I'm not already not a huge fan of Lowe's 12s, right? I don't dislike Lowe's as a whole like some people do, but low 12s look weird to me. Let's see, those 12s, well, okay. And, yeah, so, yeah, I was just like, 
I was on the fence about buying it, but then I bought it anyway because I thought, let's see, let's see. Because like, you look at something like this, which is also a Jordan 12 low. Not bad, right? Pretty standard stuff. It still has a weird shape to it. Somebody said they just they just look long. I think it's just because of the way they the way this is. But you know, it's nice. It's got like the decent leather on there all around and all that crap, you know. I almost missed out on these because the mall down in El Paso was well, apparently a lot of people wanted this. I should have been there earlier, maybe. But I got there at least in time enough to buy the last size nine that they had in the mall right so that was cool though honestly like at that time had i told them i was interested in it i bet you i could have got somebody to hold a pair for me because i shopped at that mall a lot like i remember going in a foot action and people would be like oh hey you got these phones you might like you got one more in your size if you're interested they like knew me you know i don't think they knew me by name but they knew me this right here, the Playoff 12, right? I actually just sold a pair of these because I had two of them. And like I wore them to work, you know, and my coworker was like, oh, man, those are pretty cool. Like, that's the pair that I was trying to remember that I, that I tried buying, you know? And I'm like, well, I think I have a, an extra if you're interested. So he was, and I sent him the a picture of the shoes, and I sent him the invoice from Finish Line, and I was like, this is what they would cost because that's what I gave Finish Line. And he was like, all right, let's do it. So pretty nice, though, I will say. I'm still not, like, over the moon elated about him. You know, like, the whole black and white thing. It's, like, it's fine. It's not, like, anything to write home about. But they're cool. I am curious to see what my dad thinks of his pair when he gets them. Because I did buy him. Well, I didn't buy him a pair, but I have a pair that I'm giving to him. Because, you know, sizing issues when, when you're buying UK stuff, right? Pay attention when you're buying from UK sites. Otherwise, you will end up with a size that you do not want. This right here is the Stealth Jordan 12, right? These came out just this past week, but I had got them from Foot Patrol through one of their raffles, right? Because I wanted to see if they were going to screw me on the shipping again. Because the last pair of shoes, those 12s, the, the bigger playoff 12s that I'm giving to my dad, they shipped those in a, just a, they put the box into like this paper bag or plastic bag and just shipped it. If you ship something from the middle of England or wherever to here in a plastic bag, it's not going to arrive in the greatest condition, right? I know that. A lot of you know that. I don't think they knew that. Either way, these right here, I saw them and I was like, that's pretty all right. So I put in for them. I got them probably because a lot of people weren't trying to spend the extra money on them. And it worked out all right. This was one of those reviews that did pretty well. Not the first day, not even the second day, honestly. It was like the third day when people were like, when it started trickling around the internet. So it's, it right now has probably hit where most of my Jordan reviews hit at the maximum, I think, honestly, because people come to my channel for certain things and those certain things aren't Jordans, right? Again, the analytics, they don't lie. Neither do the watch hours or watch times or watch views. But yeah, I saw these, thought that's pretty all right. I'm going to go for it. And I'm glad I did because if you saw the review, you know that that's probably the highest I've spoken of a Jordan 12 since the Flints, right? Which is actually going to be what's in this next box. Not a fan of those stealth. Hey, they're not for everybody. I get it. You know, maybe that's part of the reason that they're still readily available in a lot of sizes. They've been killing with the past 12, couple 12 colorways. Yeah. Uh, this one right here, I think if I had, because like initially I thought that those were kind of like these, but then I looked at them, it's like it's a darker gray, right? So it's not too similar. These also have like a little red on there to kind of switch it up just a little bit. I th overall though, I would say I prefer this pair, even though I'm not as big on like all, mostly white shoes, but something about this one just, like I said, there's a reason that I compared those to these when I said like, you know, the ones that I like the most, because even like those Taker 12s that I was talking about, yeah, those are nice. I mean, they're not better than these, I don't think, but they are nice, right? And the other 12s that I've picked up lately, I honestly can't even remember what a lot of them were. I remember there's the Indo Indigo ones, right? There's that pair. There's the Black and University Gold, which is by default always going to be like a personal favorite, you know? But a lot of them have just been, they've been fine. But And then the royalties, I did not really care for the royalties. A lot of things were just going on with that that I didn't care for. 
honestly. But um, let's see. So before we get into that, next piece of this. So as all this growth in the channel was happening, right? I was all right, that's cool. And different people are starting to show up. But like over time, you know, you start to kind of, you're putting all in all this like extra effort. I'm taking these little like on feet shot things or whatever, putting them on the Instagram because that's what people seem to be into. And I get it, right? But you can't help, at least for me, it can't help but start to feel like you're presenting this image that other people are going to try to like keep up with, right? And I'm not trying to be that guy, right? That gives, makes people think like, oh, this is what I need to do. I need to get all these shoes. Because there was, a was it a live I was doing or a, I don't remember what it was, but I think it was a live. And somebody saw like a stack of shoes behind me, like, oh man, like shoes stacked to the ceiling. That's what I want, you know? I was like, ah, that's, I mean, there's some all right things about me, but if you're going to look at me, right, and think like, oh, I want to be like you because of this, maybe be like me because, like, you know, I have a decent job and can live on my own. Like, that's something to be proud of, right? Just having a bunch of shoes, it's just a material thing that doesn't really matter a whole lot, you know? So personally, like I saw that and I was like, so that's when I kind of started pulling back and like, I wasn't, I was still buying a lot of shoes, right? But I, I kind of slowed down on like the actual daily on feet things outside of when I was doing my videos, because I would like make a short video about the shoes I did every day, did that for like a year or so. And then on the other side, on the YouTube side, I was doing the reviews still, but I wasn't like pumping them out like I normally would, you know, like. It used to be like relentless, like videos all the time. And I was like, let's let's stop and just kind of spread these things out, right? I don't need to be on here like I'm trying to brag or something, because like I'm not. I don't I'm not trying to sell anybody on anything. I just like to, you know, share what I what my thoughts are on stuff. So to me, when I was looking at all this, I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna take a back seat to a lot of things and stuff. Like if you wanna find somebody else that's gonna be showing you all these things all the time and whatever cool i get it so that's when like my instagram thing like almost came to like a screeching halt as far as like new followers right which is fine because even when i'm on instagram i mostly just i look like the people that show me like wrestling related content and like amy and some other people right that's mostly it honestly you need to start doing on foot review what i have you seen my reviews before like, but um, so I was looking at that and I was just like, this whole thing, I'm not going to contribute to that part of the internet anymore so much. I'll still talk about the stuff that I got, obviously, but I just, and I, I was listening to somebody else say, Anthony Levine, he was saying he felt the same way, right? Because it's a weird thing, right? So you just got to kind of give people something else to look at, right? Or at least not be the, that part of it if you don't want to be. And that's kind of where it was for me. So I had to pull back on things. So if you've ever been wondering, like, why I don't really do the reviews as quickly or anything where I take these, like, extended breaks all the time, that's it. Because I just don't want to be on here like I'm constantly, like, pushing shoes in people's faces, right? Like I'm trying to sell them on anything. If you ever sat through one of these reviews, you know I'm not trying to sell anybody on anything, like, ever, right? I just like to draw a fine thick line between my opinion and you making yours moving along right these i did a whole instagram live thing went through all my harachis and somebody karma wonder she was on there and she helped me pick out the the harachis i was going to wear for the week right this pair right here i guess i should pull out too since it only since it makes a little more sense that way but this pair right here i pulled out and i was going to wear right Right, you remember these? The eat, love, swoosh, pray, love, swoosh, live. I don't know. I honestly don't remember the name of this now. Peace, love, swoosh. That's what it was. Peace, love, swoosh. Yeah, I saw these and I was like, maybe these. They seem like a decent colorway, right? And I wanted to just wear the Hirachis, get a punch of those in, because a while ago I did a, I did a, what was it like? my summer shoes reviews not reviews but collection videos and i did it on these right here which is the hirachi and also on the press level. and i figured since the summer is coming to an end it ends next month technically so around here in virginia land probably going to hang around for a bit here let me wear some hirachis right since that is one of my summer shoes and so i went through and she helped me pick out the ones to wear but 
I was supposed to go to like a concert thing of some sort on Saturday. Didn't go. So those ended up coming out for no reason. But I show them just for you know, since they were in the stack. So Justin, Michelle, Frederis, hello to you. So this, ah, you cannot tell what color that is, can you? This camera kind of sucks a little bit. It's actually more StreamYard. If I was able to use the, like, the Logitech stuff, I could kind of adjust the colors, but I'm just going straight through StreamYard. This is the magenta colorway, I believe that's what it was called. So that's what this, no, that's what this is. This down here is like a lime color, like a highlighter color, you know? Pretty cool, though, if this camera was on my side, you know what I'm talking about. But do a quick Google search, and they'll pop right up, you know, magenta Hirachi. So pick these up whenever, sometime last year when they were doing all those Hirachi reviews. And it's crazy. Like I was saying in a recent post, like I own 16 pairs of Hirachis, right? I only know this because I counted yesterday. Was it yesterday? Either way, eight of those Hirachis I bought last year, which is crazy, right? Because if anybody who's curious, I started really buying shoes in like 2015, right? So it hasn't been super long, depending on you know who you compare me to. But yeah, so between 2015 and January of 21, yeah, I built up like eight pairs of Hirachis. And then last year, they just exploded on the scene and I was buying every one. Well, a lot of them. These right here, maybe some of you remember the DNA pack. There was this one and then there's the red one that should be next. They basically made these to match up with like some of the original Air Max 1 colorways, and then they made Air Max 1s to match up with the original Hirachi colorways. This one, this one is really cool. I just bought a pair of Gel Light 3s in the same sort of style. But yeah, another thing about these, this is a Hirachi Run, right? So if you're familiar with all the Hirachis that came out last year, those are just like standard Hirachis. These have like a wider cut in the toe area. So if you buy a Hirachi Run and a standard Hirachi at the same size, you will notice that the Hirachi Run has more room in it. So keep that in mind if you're going back and buying some of those older ones and look at what type of shoe it is because sometimes that does matter. So it's just like a little bit wider and you can tell sometimes if you like look side by side and whatever. But yeah, I forgot how comfortable these things can be, you know? Let's see, the DNA pack. Oh, just call me Justin. It's kind of a habit to like read people's full names for some reason. Like, I don't know why I do that. Like, if somebody showed you an ID card, you wouldn't like read out like, "Oh, hello, Tristan Stewart." You'd just be like, "Hey, Tristan," right? Either way. So this right here, this was the other half of that. I didn't get the Air Max side of the packs or whatever, which is weird because Air Max ones are like in my top favorite Air Max models, right? And Air Maxes are like the cornerstone of my collection. So you would think I would have bought it. I don't know what happened. I just, I didn't get them for some reason, which is weird. But I did get the Hirachis though. And this one right here, I used to think that this one was my favorite, but I, I'm thinking it might be the blue one. Honestly, ask me again next week and I might be back on the red one because they're both very nice. So it's kind of one of those things where you just kind of flip back and forth both between each other, you know? Let's see. I love comfortable shoes. Yeah, it's like the... That's where the Hirachis come in for me. I mean, I'm going to be talking about Prestos in a second here, right? I got a couple pairs of those after this. And both are solid, right? I do prefer the Hirachi for comfort over the Presto because it's just it's a little more comfortable, you know what I'm saying? In the midsole piece. But the look, I prefer the Presto. So kind of depends. So this right here, Screen Green, that's what this was, right? So I believe this was one of the original Hirachi colorways that they made. So down here, you have like a nice lime green, sort of neon green sort of thing. Up here, you have the blue. The blue is coming out all right in the camera. The green, not so much. But this one, this one was pretty all right. And this is one that I wanted like from the start, right? When I first saw it, I was like, that's a pretty cool combination. So we're getting that. The magenta one that I showed a minute ago, I didn't feel the same way. I actually ordered a pair for my brother of the, mag the magentas and I was going to like probably like wear those once or twice and then give them to him, you know, but then when I saw them in a store, I was like, ooh, these are actually pretty nice. So then I bought a pair for myself. I mean, I still sent him his pair, you know, I'm a nice guy like that. These were not originally in the lineup. Let's see. Yeah. Screen green. Yeah, man. 
these were not in the original lineup, but I ended up going to see Slick Rick. He was he was here in concert recently. Let's see. I don't know if you can tell. No, it's, you're gonna need the flash, but they do have like a bit of an iridescent sort of thing going on, right? You might, yeah, you can kind of tell a little bit. But they have an iridescent thing going on as far as like the look and all that goes. But I needed something that was going to be dark because, you know, in case something gets spilled on them because it was going to be a concert. But I also needed a Hirachi because I was wearing Hirachis all week. So I pulled these out. And once I put them on, I was like, man, like I forgot just how much I really liked this pair when I bought it. I wore them a whole lot whenever they came into the collection back in 2016. But it's just been a long while. I probably haven't worn these since... At most recent, probably 2018, right? It, yeah, yeah, it would have had to have been like 2018 at most recent when I last wore those. That's the other thing that sucks about having like a lot of shoes. Like you want to wear them all, but it's not super easy. I mean, luckily I have a job where I can wear whatever I want to work, you know, as far as like shoes go and stuff. So I'm able to kind of keep that rotation going. But if I didn't, I don't know. I, I might just stop buying as many just because of that. And then we have this pair right here, right? This pair, it's, what is this called? Aquatone. I have another pair of Aquatone that's got a little more gray in it as well. But these happen to match up with my original high school colors, right? Like the first high school that I went to, Woodside, back in uh, Virginia. And so these right here, I was like, well, that's kind of cool, right? And it's just like a nice color combination, this whole teal and purple sort of thing, at least in my opinion. I don't know how many they made or I don't know what the interest level was, but I know that they did hang out on shelves for a good while. But, you know, I bought mine again, day one, spent retail price on them. I try to get things under retail, but sometimes, again, like I get enough deals on a lot of things that I don't mind paying retail on other things. Right. In the end, as long as you kind of break even, that's really what I'm going for here. But yeah. OK, so. There's that. We got one more stack here. Let me get over here and grab this. So, like I was saying, though, before this, right, when it comes, comes to all that crap, like, for me, like, I look at all the stuff that I was talking about, like, wanting to, like, kind of scale back and all that good stuff, and then, like, it becomes a question of, okay, well, if I'm, like, not so into that in some ways, like, why am I doing it, right? Like, what keeps me interested? Honestly, I don't even know. Like, I think part of it is just that, like, I'm used to sitting here every so often and making reviews and stuff and talking about things, right? And really, until I find something else to do, I mean, I guess that's going to be it. Like, because I do meet a lot of people that are that have been pretty cool and all that good stuff. I made some really good friends through this, right? I mean, it doesn't, like, fill me with joy or something to, like, sit here and put out reviews or anything. It's entertaining, right? I'll give it that. You know, it's I like to use that as like a creative outlet in some sort of ways, right? I'm not really haven't done like the music thing in forever. Otherwise, I'd probably be putting more eggs in that basket or whatever. The is that even a phrase? I feel like I use it wrong. But either way, I'd probably be doing more of that stuff than this, right? Because again, you gotta like put that stuff out somewhere. So it gives me something to do, right? Between like school stuff and the gym, I can sit here and do that. But honestly, like. I do like seeing some of the familiar faces show up, right? Yes, yeah, like Rick, right? I do like seeing some of the familiar faces show up, have some little conversation here and there. I know I can count on certain people for to like keep some continuity between the reviews in some ways, you know? So when I do a review, I can mention Kyle Martin because of this. And then I know that he's going to see the review at some point and chime in with his part of it. And then I'll pin his comments so other people can see it. So I do like that aspect of it. But... It's not like I'm like thrilled to be making videos. I don't like go and brag about it. I don't talk about it at all, honestly. Like people from work found out that I do this recently because I kept telling this dude to buy some gel light threes and he went online, looked him up, and then he's like, Wait, was that the guy from work in the thumbnail? And yeah, it was. It was me, right? Because he was buying those black denim, Okayama denim gel light threes. And so then you know, that became a topic every so often. But no, this whole YouTube thing, it doesn't really do much for me. You know, it's it's fun at times, but 
I honestly, like, would I miss it if I stopped? If my channel was taken down? Probably not, honestly. I just, like, huh, it's nice to get that little paycheck every so often. It's not a lot. It's, like, sits between, like, $160, $200 a month or something. It's not a lot, right, for what you're doing? But it's something, I suppose. And it's just, it's kind of cool in some ways, but also weird in some ways. Like, I remember talking to a friend of mine, like, years ago. And he said, oh, man, I'm trying to find those shoes that you had, like, the whatevers. And I just went on Google and I typed in, like, Ice Mint Ultra Boost. And, like, the first picture that pops up is, like, me with the shoes. And I'm like, well, this is just weird. That's just weird. Okay, moving along, though. So, got some Prestos here, right? That's what I went with for this particular week. It's kicked off on Sunday with this right here. This is a standard Presto Essential, right? Nothing crazy about it. It's like wolf gray and blue. It's a nice color combination, you know? Kind of reminds me of this AJ style shirt that I have. So I started the week with these because I was just going to walk around, go get a little breakfast, you know, just kind of walk through the streets and stuff, just killing time because I was up early in the morning for some odd reason. And I figured I should get out of the get out of the apartment at some point. But I decided to go with these because why not, right? It's been a while since they've been pulled out of the box. So you got to get these things out, let them see a little sunlight once in a while, right? At least that's how I feel. Moving along, we have another Presto Essential. So this is, I think some people call these the Brazils, right? For somewhat obvious reasons, I guess. But this one, I remember buying them. I don't remember where I bought them because it was years ago. Let's see. What does this say? This says 2016. Yeah, I remember seeing these and... I just, I bought them instantly. I didn't even think twice about it. I was like, oh yeah, I want those. I like colorful things, you know? And this one right here, like, it definitely pulled in a lot of attention because like I said, I wear, this is all stuff that I wore to work over the last month. And these right here pulled in like a lot of attention. People were like, oh man, those are cool. People were talking about like the Hirachi they used to have. I mean, Prestos they used to have and all that stuff. So it's one that I really like a lot. I just honestly forget that it's a thing. Like, I always remember, like, my Korea ones because that was a bit of a hassle to get, you know. And then there's, like, the Niger ones that stand out as well for whatever reason. But ones like that, like, when I was looking at the boxes, I was, like, green and white. I'm like, what would that be? Yeah, very cool, though. Very cool. I only have one pair of the Nike Prestos. Hello Kitty. I remember those Hello Kitty ones from, like, what, two or three months ago? You like my shoes? I oh, appreciate that. I also like them. Well, I like most of them, right? I do buy some things for the sake of just trying them out, right? But And I bought some other things where I, I thought I might like it. And then, because, yeah, I didn't know anything about it. Like the 40 Fusios, thought I'd like them, didn't really like them. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes things don't work out. But this right here, this is the one that totally did. The Nike React Presto. I was wondering if they were ever going to make like a React Hirachi, you know, because it felt like this isn't a far jump, right? Because if you look at like the React, it's known for like, like that thick cushion, and the Hirachi is the same way. So I thought, well, surely they're going to put the React on the Hirachi because in 2019, they put it on everything else. Why just stop there? But sure enough, they kind of just didn't, and I was dumbfounded as to why. But this React Presto, though... I've, I know it's not like a standard Presto, but I figured I'd pull it in anyway, right? But these I picked up at the suggestion of McFly704, and totally cool with that, right? You know, I still make the joke that he forced me into buying them, and if you say that he didn't, I'll agree to that, but I will deny it to him, honestly. But yeah, I like these. I kind of thought that they would stick around longer. They had a good run. I'm not going to say they didn't. But they seem to have just, like, stopped. I mean, nowadays, when I look at React shoes, it's like, let's see, what's, they still make the Infinity Run fly knits, right? I think they're on version two, maybe three of those, but I don't see a lot of React shoes anymore for some reason. I mean, I also don't pay a whole lot of attention because the more attention you pay, the more stuff you want to buy, right? And I'm trying to, like, not buy a lot of stuff. So I just kind of keep myself in the dark in a lot of cases. But normally, I still have a way of just like at least hearing about things that are like kind of cool. 
this right here, this is what I ended off today with, right? So, like I said, I was going to normal times, I would have worn Prestos through the whole week. But because tomorrow starts boost month, I kind of have to cut it off. So I figured wearing these last, it'd be like wearing multiple pairs of Prestos because, you know, that's how these work. They take multiple designs, bring them all together, right? So I wore these today and I figured that should be fine to close out the week. I'm not a huge fan of these, honestly. I don't know what it is. Something about them is just a little weird. But it's they're not terrible, right? They're just not, they're not at the top of my Presto collection, not even close, but they're in it and they're not super offensive. So I'm not mad about it. And if I was mad about it, I don't have me to be mad at, right? And so there's that. Now we're done. So I'm going to hit you with my little last piece of this. You guys can leave some questions in there if you have some, otherwise I'm probably going to be wrapping this up in the next like seven minutes. So here's the thing, right? I was talking about the whole like why am i doing this and all that like pulling back and all that and so obviously there's a question of like when am i going to am i planning on stopping this or like how much longer am i going to do it right because it probably sounds to some people like i would stop and i probably wouldn't be doing this for a whole lot longer but the thing is i've got the time right and that's really what it comes down to if like my life were different and i had to start putting time into other things you know maybe then sure but until like i find something else to kind of fill this free time because i don't like idle time i can't just nothing against anybody who does it but i can't just sit around and like watch amazon prime and netflix and hbo max all day like i need to do something that is like at least mildly productive right and so that's kind of where this comes in like how productive is it i mean i'm just making videos right but i'm at least doing something keeps my mind going so there's that keeps my hands busy. So there's that keeps me from joining gangs and running through the streets or something. So there's also that. But yeah, I mean, how much longer? Like, I, it's not like I plan to stop buying shoes like straight up, right? Because you know, like I'm not going to. So I might slow down, which is the thing that I've talked about. Yeah. So there'll be that. But this thing is gonna run. This channel is gonna run until something else comes along right kind of like an old marilyn manson song what was that from the mechanical animals i think yeah if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about it's a little explicit so i'll just leave it to the imagination maybe i'll put a link in at the bottom or something but anyway so that's really it for me i just wanted to sit here and talk about some things talk about like how i got into this whole youtube thing how it all worked out for me and why i'm doing it when i'll stop doing it you know so that was kind of what i was breaking down between these right because again it's not really me to just sit here and like i don't want to feel like i'm bragging about stuff so that's why i have weird feelings very conflicted feelings about youtube life but now in case you were ever curious about what i think about things now you don't have to be so there's that for you and given that i don't see any like new questions or whatever in here that's cool that means i can start wrapping this thing up we can all go our separate ways. Some of us have AEW Dynamite to watch in a cool 30 minutes. So, you know, got to get to that, right? And I might want to, like, eat a little bit of something, too, beforehand. Got to gotta edit some videos or something. You know, I got some, some things to do. So, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I do sincerely appreciate all the people that show up and watch this stuff, watch me, like, ramble on about different shoes and my thoughts on certain things and whatever. Because like I always say, there's a lot of other stuff you could be doing right now. Or maybe you're at work and you're supposed to be paying attention to work things and you're doing this instead. Or maybe you're just bored and you're just hanging out with me. Whatever brought you to here, super appreciate it, right? I definitely do. So that's going to be mostly about it for me. I, I'll have other videos come along at some point. I just recorded three today. I might, yeah, I might be able to get those up over the weekend or something. We'll see. I got to record the on feats because I only took the pictures. I took the pictures yesterday, recorded the videos today. So that's most of the work is done at this point. Just got to go time things out so I can get the on feats right. But oh, you're working overtime. You know, I did, I did some overtime in July, like a fair amount of it, and it was like I didn't need to, right? Because you know, like, 
I, I wasn't like in a position where I was like needing extra money, but the opportunity was there and there's like this extra stuff that I wanted to like finish up at work. So I was like, you know what, I'll stay late a couple days or whatever. So it was cool. Got a nice little bump in the paycheck that time around. But I normally like when it's time to leave, like I want to leave, right? I, the overtime is like the farthest thing from my mind at that in that moment. But yeah, so again, thanks to everybody that showed up here. Definitely appreciate it and all that good stuff. So if you got any like thoughts or ideas for things to talk about or that you want to hear me ramble on about in like the next live session, leave a comment on this thing or you can put it in the chat, but you probably have to leave the comment because I'm about to click end on this. But yeah, see you later, people. Do, do, do.